Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about trying to convert a PF30 bottom bracket to BSA threaded bottom bracket. So I have a 2014 Specialized Enduro Carbon, which has a PF30 press fit bottom bracket, which I'm glad that pretty much most of the bike manufacturers have gone back to a threaded BSA, kind of got away from these press fits. So I found a um, aluminum adapter. So this is made by FSA, and this is an adapter to convert a 46 millimeter PF30 to traditional BSA threads. This is offered in 68 millimeter shell width and 73 millimeter shell width, and I've got 73 millimeter shell width on my frame here. So this again is by FSA, and you can see it's a PF30 threaded adapter for 73 millimeters, made in Taiwan. It ships with the adapter, it ships with this Loctite 609. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to use this or not, uh, because it is a carbon frame, not aluminum. I'm going to do a little more research on this and see if this is okay for carbon. Otherwise, I'm thinking what I might do is use maybe a 30-minute epoxy. So that should give me some uh, working time. And I believe that will be a little bit thinner than using like a 5-minute epoxy. So this has to be press fit in. And I'm not sure how tight of a fit this is going to be. I'm going to have to rig up. I don't, I don't have a bottom bracket press or a headset press, so I'm going to have to rig something up with a bolt, maybe some pieces of wood and see if I can get that pressed in. I'm going to put this in the freezer though. I've read online that you can put this aluminum in the freezer for maybe 6 to 12 hours or so and this will shrink it a little bit, hopefully make it a little easier to press fit into my bottom bracket. So I'm going to give this a try. I just I just wanted to get away from anything press fit. I, I know I can get adapters that will thread together like uh, Wheels Manufacturing. And I think there's some other manufacturers out there as well. Praxis is another one that sell these uh, thread together bottom bracket conversion kits, but I just wanted to get you know to a traditional bottom bracket threaded bottom bracket. This way, I can decide if I want to use a traditional Shimano style Holotech two, or maybe try a SRAM dub bottom bracket. So if I've got the BSA threaded, then uh, this is pretty universal to fit with just about anything that I want to try later in the future. So let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to get back to you here shortly and um, try to document as much as I can. Hopefully I don't have any problems with this. I uh, certainly don't want to ruin my frame, but I, I picked this up on eBay used. Uh, not too expensive, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be okay. All right, we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm back from the hardware store. I was able to pick up some JB Weld Plastic Bonder Epoxy with a 15 minute set time. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to bond my bottom bracket adapter into place. I did put some foam in here to protect the threads for my homemade press. So I picked up a half inch by eight inch bolt and some washers. Uh, to make a homemade press. I've got this adapter that I bought in case I need it as well. And we're going to see how this goes. So one thing I did was to lightly sand the inside of this PF30 tube in here. And uh, fortunately I have a solid tube, so I shouldn't have any problem trying to match up the other end. I know some frames might be hollow in the center. Uh, or actually have like a larger opening in the center of the tube, but this is a straight tube all the way through, so it should be pretty easy to press all the way through. And I also sanded the edges of this just to give it a little rougher surface for the epoxy to stick to. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in the freezer for a little while and come back and give this a try. Well, I was able to get my bottom bracket adapter installed using my makeshift bottom bracket press. 
I'm going to go ahead and let this epoxy cure overnight before I install an actual uh, bottom bracket bearing housing in here. I just want to make sure it's fully cured before I put any torque, any rotational torque on here. So hopefully we'll be in good shape. And uh, if anybody's curious about this, this weighs 75 grams. So I weighed this adapter before I installed it at 75 grams. So small price to pay, I suppose, to have a BSA threaded adapter inside of a PF30 frame. So hopefully this will be a permanent solution. So the reason I went with this JB Weld plastic bonder is because it says it's compatible with carbon fiber composites and it also gave me 15 minute working time. So all the other epoxies that they had at the hardware store were five minutes and I was just worried that maybe five minutes was not enough working time for me to get this bottom bracket adapter pressed in. As far as the press, I just picked up a half inch by eight inch bolt and then I was lucky enough to find some good size washers. Now this bottom bracket adapter is 46 millimeters, so that's the internal diameter of a PF30. And I was able to find a washer that was actually 45 millimeters, so it fit perfectly uh, just on the, on the bracket there, so I can push that in. And then on the other side, I was able to find large washers. I think this was about 50 millimeters that fit over uh, the frame. So I just used these washers uh, to press this in and I had this adapter that I found uh, in the plumbing supply section and this opening here was also a little bit wider. I think this opening was about 48 millimeters. So as I started to press this through um, I was worried that I wasn't going to have enough room for the cement to come out before it hit the washer. So before I pressed it all the way through, I went ahead and put this one on and then put the washers there. And as I was pressing it through, I put epoxy on the frame, on the inside, on both sides, as I was pressing it through, uh, just to make sure that it didn't press all the way through. So as I pressed this one in and it was halfway in, I put more epoxy in there and then continue to press it into place.